Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger of Comedia back with another Dokkan battle video. So I'm sure my global players out there have noticed that earlier this morning we got a pretty massive data download that was at least 200 megabytes, possibly a little bit more. And if you're anything like me, then you were probably super curious about what exactly made up for all this data that was being added to the game, right? Or maybe not, maybe it was just me, maybe I'm just crazy, but either way, I was curious, so I did a little bit of digging around, and uh, according to Tokon Air on Twitter, there were actually a ton of assets that were added to the global side of the game, the global database, through this data download, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to go through it together in today's video. But before we go any further, I do want to be extra clear about one thing, and that is just because the assets for these units were added to the global database does not mean that they're going to be released anytime soon, all right? Because we did get a previous data download that added Killing Khalifa and Trunks and Zamasu and some other stuff. And at this point, we still don't know when those guys are coming. So like I said, just because the Piccolo was added for this data download does not mean he's coming next, all right? So with that out of the way, hopefully that was super clear. Uh, let's take a look at what's going on with this data download and as far as this data download goes uh, we got the assets for the prime battle first form lr cell we got his art here uh, some cut-ins right here some backgrounds and all that good stuff and i gotta say he is a very very good free-to-play lr so i can't wait to be able to farm him but at this point in time we don't know when that's gonna happen and uh, next up, we have some Dokkan Awakenings for this Gohan right here, this Int uh, Tien, and also the uh, new Nail that's coming with the Piccolo. And of course, you have the Piccolo at the bottom here. So this is the, I believe, SSR form of Nail. And then this is his Awakened form. And of course, some more backgrounds for the Nail as well. And the next page is some more Piccolo. So we got some Piccolo heads, some Piccolo cut-ins, uh, Piccolo's TUR form, his transformation, some more backgrounds, and also the Dokkan Awakening for the tech uh, Gohan and Icarus, which is actually a very good card too. So lots of good stuff, man. This seems to be primarily a data download for the assets uh, that they need for the physical Piccolo Dokkan Fest but I would predict that we won't be getting this Dokkan Fest until probably sometime in December. This could actually be the Christmas celebration banner. I hope it's not because I actually want a completely new unique unit for that, but let's just say I wouldn't put it past Bandai to make the Piccolo our Christmas celebration banner. And uh, the last page here, we have a bunch of Extreme Z Awakenings. And the first one is for the physical Broly, the 70% lead. And then the next seven are actually part of a mass Extreme Z Awakening where all seven got Extreme Z Awakenings through one event on JP. And uh, it did make them all relevant again, because at this point on Global, without Extreme Z Awakenings, all these cards are I wouldn't say unusable, but quite mediocre, and you probably wouldn't run them unless you are a fairly new player, but the Extreme Z Awakenings make them all relevant once again. Some of them are very, very good in fact, and uh, I can't wait for that either. So that's pretty much all the assets, as far as I know, according to Dokkan Air, that were added to the global database from this data download, and that explains why the data download was so big. I mean, I'm sure a portion of it was for the new update, uh, 4.5.2 with the increased movement speed and increased character limits, or not character limits, uh, item limits and all that stuff, right? But that couldn't possibly account for all 200 and something megabytes. So I knew there was something else in there and it turns out that something else was all this stuff. So there you go, guys. Like I said, just because these things were added to the database does not mean that Piccolo is next, does not mean that we're getting Cell next. It just means that they're there, they're in the database, and uh, they'll be ready for release whenever Bandai decides to release them. And like I said, I think Piccolo is gonna be sometime in December. We're most likely gonna get Trunks and Zamasu before that, and uh, also Kale and Khalifa, I think. But you never know with Bandai, so this is all just speculation at the moment. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you're not too disappointed that this stuff was is not for the next celebration. Um, like I said, it could be the case, but we just have no indication or no guarantees right now. So I don't want to spread any false information or get anybody hyped up for no reason. You know what I mean? So 
that's gonna do it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed it as always if you guys liked today's video make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it until next time i hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out